palatial luxury of the Funboy 3's dressing room here at the Regal Theatre in Hitchin. And in case you thought that a pop star's life was all, you know, completely unstoppable luxury, just have a look around here. We've got um, discarded pairs of boots, coke, a bottle of medium sweet cider, lots of overflowing ashtrays and quite a bit of nervousness. We're just going to go around and talk to a few people. How do you go about writing songs? Well, we just sort of go away for a couple of months and come up with some songs. Is it a very haphazard hit or miss business or do you know what you're doing when you set out? Um, it's sort of a rough idea but it, it usually comes together in the studio. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's like, I couldn't say what um, musical direction we're going to take in another couple of months time because we don't, you know, you don't know. So, you know, we haven't got any set things, you know, any set roles or anything. It's just like something happened and trigger off, we find something different to do. Do the Funboy 3 actually have a leader, would you say, in any way? Um, we just sit on discuss things amongst ourselves, the three of us, and we just agree and disagree and agree again and, you know, carry on like that. <laughs> Let's talk briefly about the, the new Funboy 3 single, which is Our Lips Are Sealed, I understand. Yeah. Um, that's a song that you actually co-wrote, what, two years ago or longer than that ago? Um, yeah, with a girl from the Go-Go's. Um, it was quite successful in America, but I wanted to achieve the same success in Britain, so I wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. Neville, when Funboy 3 started touring recently, that was the first time for, what, very nearly two years since the specials broke up that you and Terry and Lynn Ball had been on stage. Were you bothered about that? Well, no, it was a rest in, in a way, really, because uh, we've been touring for such a long time with no time off or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So when we split up, it was just for our, our own good, really. Was touring something you actually had to do in the end? No, we didn't have to do it, but I mean, I like doing it. But after a while, touring every night without a break got a bit much. Which bits do you actually enjoy? I mean, for instance, it's what, half past eight at the moment? Do you do out on the stage in front of a few thousand people probably out there at the moment? Are you worried at the moment? No. No, halfway through, baby. No, 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 no. It's my pleasant duty to welcome Worcester Test viewers to the Regal Theatre at Hitchin in Hertfordshire and to ask these good people down here to put their hands together for these good people up here. Ladies and gentlemen, Funboy 3. Another bomb becomes diffused And 
the terrorists aren't amused Paisley is getting his shirt off Sinn Féin are going insane They strike to divide the
things we do. Do middle-aged women wear cameo brooches? Do young office lectures drive clats out of Porsches? Do sales girls at Tesco's wear boots number seven? Do you eat digestives at half past eleven? Do you act your age or the size of your shoes? Has a man got to do what a man's got to do? The things we do, the things we do. What we are is the nothing inside. If you swallow your food, would you swallow your pride? The things we do, the things we do, the things we do.
very much. This is our new single. Well, you can call it a single. It's called Alex Cecil. Go 
Paul's case You gave up your friends for a new way of life And both lived it up as exes And wife there were twenty two catches When you struck your matches And threw away your life In the tunnel of love This next song's about pop stars. It's called We're Having All the Fun. i 
Let's play our last song. It's the Old Grow Whistle Test, one to 40 minutes special, and we've already done 37. It's called It Ain't What You Do, it's the way that you do.